So, you want to absolutely destroy an enemy if you get on their flank? Then look no further than Kent, an absolute monster that if he gets on the side or rear of someone, he's able to dish out a huge amount of damage and with decent armor to boot. Kent is a great agent for those who like to punish other people's mistakes. With his 12 round autoloader, even though each individual shot doesn't pack much of a punch, the speed that Kent can send his rounds downrange makes him a monster. If you let him get behind you, he'll punch a new exhaust in your tank for you. The thing with Kent is he was enjoyable the moment I picked him up, packing quite the punch at level 1, and just getting better as I leveled him up. Even at level 1, Kent's mobility and damage is nothing to scoff at. Let's quickly go over upgrades options for Kent. When it comes to Kent's upgrades, it has good options for majority of all of his upgrades. So when it comes to like slot 1, for instance, I run HVFS for the increased penetration power and module damage. Um, but you could also run Appencore for the increased damage and crit multiplier. The reason why I run HVFS is due to the module damage. Um, and the additional penetration power, as sometimes you'll need that little bit of extra pen. And the module damage means that you're more likely to cause a critical when you hit a module. So that's why I prefer HVFS. Uh, Appencore is fine, but since you're not going to be hitting, I uh, since you're not going to be critting modules as much, uh, you might not see its effect as often. Now against certain vehicles, you're going to see it more often like against a Jaeger or the back of a Titan um, or even the back of a Chopper but some other vehicles like an Akira or a Phantom um, even a Uteranic or a Raketa without that little bit of extra module damage you might not critically strike them and even with the extra module damage I do find it that you don't always critically strike uh, for slot 2 I use PDW um, for the increased acceleration and forward speed, but you can also use LTW for the reticle size while you're moving and reticle size when you're turning your hole. Both options are good. I just prefer building my uh, Kent to be speedy. Um, for slot 3, I use the Mark 3 for the increased aiming speed and the reticle size max. So this is the max reticle it can bloom out to. Uh, the Mark II is, yeah, it's not as good because you're not sniping in the Kent at all. Um, you are wanting to flank people and get behind them and everything like that. So the sanding isn't as helpful. Plus it doesn't had increase the aiming speed, which is a little bit more beneficial for Kent, uh, especially between each shot. For slot four, I run tornado for the reverse speed and the base acceleration. Um, but Mark II uh, is completely a fair choice, to be honest, as it, it decreases the amount of crit damage you take from the engine. I just have my Kent to reverse at like 50 kilometers an hour, so I can go in and out pretty fast. For slot 5, again, since I'm building for incredibly fast reverse speed, I am using the T97B2, but the T97As are fine as well since he does struggle a little bit with the traverse. Uh, for slot 6, I use Radical D. Um, it should be mentioned the time between shots and time to load next magazine. This is talking about strictly the uh, intraclip. So when you shoot with Ken, you fire three shots. So in between those three shots, it's going to be... 10% reduced between each shot and between each three shots is the magazine so each pair of three is considered a magazine and it decreases the amount of time for the next magazine to load by 7.5% not the whole reload just the partial reload in the intraclip. For slot 7 I run Verista Mortar. Uh, this is for the increased traverse speed and aiming speed as GTC isn't as useful for Ken, it's much better to just have the additional aiming speed and tra traverse speed. For slot 8, I run block for the extra hit points and the reticle size decrease again. Um, I think Hornet is just not a good option at all. Uh, should should just go block, it's arguably a better option because you're not trying to elevate your gun up and down most of the time. You're going to be 
trying to aim and just tank a little bit more. Slot 9, uh, kind of just your preference. I just chose LTW S because bigger number. And for slot 10, uh, this is definitely going to be another preference to some people. Um, again, the time to load next time magazine, I can definitely feel it when I don't have this upgrade and the plus 25 to damage is nice as well. You do notice that the incoming crit damage is, uh, you know, increased on your ammo rack. And to be fair, Ken is, you kind of shoot him anywhere and you're going to kind of crit something. Uh, the other one is Anchor, which increases the, um, I mean, decreases the reticle size after you shoot and decreases the total reticle size. But for me, I feel like I just can't get the damage off as fast. I, I mean, sure, it's a little bit more accurate, but I can't get the damage off as fast as I can with Haste Mark III, um, which is why I just choose Haste. But you can surely make Anchor work as well. Consumables, uh, repair kit, med kit, and extinguisher. Uh, Kent currently doesn't have any abilities. Uh, for perks, I, again, trying to go backwards faster. So evasive maneuvers for me. Um, neither of these are even useful since he doesn't have any abilities at the time. Uh, perk 2, uh, I use quick draw for increased aiming speed. Um, again, energy efficient is useless, and weld machine is just bugged and doesn't work for Kent. Uh, for slot 3, uh, stable approach is the one I choose for the increased gun stabilization on the move. Uh, you can do choose dying fire since Kent does seem to get set on fire quite frequently. I think I get set on fire maybe once every two matches. And then peripheral vision is kind of a you just might as well go stable approach uh, stable approach is just the the realistically it's the better option out of these three um just real quick i want to go over the six hit wonder so hitting six consecutive shots reduces the dispersion while moving uh by 30 percent for the next 25 seconds so this is kind of a super helpful perk just because uh it means while you're moving, you're more likely to precisely hit critical shots. Uh, you know, hit more precisely to where you're aimed. Now, since Kent isn't the greatest frontally, you should always be looking for a flank. And the thing with Kent is he also has a large boost reserve. Um, and so you're able to boost in and out of fights. I do say um, Kent's reverse speed is quite enjoyable, so you can trick enemies by reversing and thinking that they can catch you, but you will generally out-reverse people than going forward. And, like, you can reverse faster than some choppers going forwards, than some titans, some uteranics. Um, the only things you really can't reverse faster than other people going forward is your uh, Jaegers, uh, some blitzes, HSTVLs, and uh, raquetas. But other than that, you can boost backwards and you can get up to 60 kilometers an hour, which is quite nippy. It's enjoyable for me to kind of reverse around uh, to get out of sticky situations as you can still keep your armor facing towards the enemies. And with uh, Kent, Kent's armor is pretty trolly. Um, sometimes you will bounce people, sometimes, you know, you'll just get straight fucked. Um, it all comes down to mostly his turret armor. Uh, Kent's turret armor is quite strong. It's the same as the, uh, punch. But, overall, the way you're kind of just wanting to play Kent is get on people's sides, get on people's rears, aim for their engine decks, or if you have an easy shot into their ammo racks, aim into their ammo racks, and you can generally kill them a lot faster than they can react. It's, uh, and with Kent's mobility, you should always be looking to try to come from an unconventional angle. Never, ever, ever go frontal with Kent, just because when it comes to a frontal fight, uh, Kent loses the majority of the time unless it's versus a Jaeger. Then you can frontally crit a Jaeger, but a Jaeger can also frontally crit you for 
you know, almost 2,000 damage. So, again, frontal fights aren't the best option for Kent. Always look for the rear. Always look for the side. Uh, surprising the opponent is what Kent is best at. Uh, and you got to use his mobility to the best of your advantage and just kind of sneak around the battlefield picking people off one by one. Uh, he's not good against groups of people because he's generally good at killing one or two people by himself. But once you run into a group, he gets focused down quite easily. And even now with the Kira buffs and even Raketa buffs, I mean, Raketa changes, uh, he can quite easily get ch uh, killed by either of those agents now. Um, so yeah, you just kind of got to pick and choose your fights with with Ken. It's a lot of it is just thinking on what fights you should and shouldn't go into.